Hey, this is Shay from Stoked On Fishing. To thank you for your support, we're giving away some free merch. For a chance to win, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And for a second chance to win, leave a comment down below. A few years back, we rallied up with my buddy Chris Atkins, who owns and operates Central America Fishing. He told me, Shay, you have to get one of your Stoked On Fishing charters to Panama and fish Coiba National Park. It's the biggest island in Central America, and it's located in the Pacific off the coast of the Panamanian province of Chiriqui. It's also right next to the world-famous Hannibal Bank. Needless to say, we rallied up the troops and made our way down south. It's only six hours from LAX. Our first adventure was incredible, and that's exactly why we're returning a couple years later after the pandemic. Oh, 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 ah, it's a monster! <laughs> woo! So you got a big fish, look at him. <laughs> oh, no! You know all about this, don't I you? I love this. This is <laughs> stoked on fishing. Stoked on fishing, baby! <laughs> Stoked On Fishing is brought to you by Akuma Fishing Tackle, a global leader in design and manufacturing of high-quality fishing tackle, and by Grundance, delivering on 100 years of performance apparel for the avid salt and freshwater angler, and by El Dorado Sport Fishing, 85 feet of deck space for fishermen who want to have some fun in the sun and catch some fish, and by Stoked On Fishing Charters. Fish the local islands and offshore banks out west or join us on one of our many adventures around the world. And by Suzuki Marine, offering the West Coast the ultimate choice in outboard motors. Are we ready? Are we ready? I am ready. Uh, this is my behind. Cheers. Hey, so you're starting fresh. You're starting Cheers, fresh. Start fresh. You're getting waters in us? Waters? Yeah, waters? waters? Kind of. Okay. Waterish. Waterish. All right, that works for I me. See it. Trip number two. That's right. Trip number two. Excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stoked on fishing. Stoked on fishing is in Panama. We are at the Hilton, and the Hilton is beautiful. Thanks a lot, Chris from Central America Sport Fishing. Super stoked, second year in Panama, and we're ready to rally. We are out of here today. We've been at the hotel for a day and a half, airplane, and then we're on the barge today, fishing tomorrow. Here we go. Good morning, Phil. You get some sleep? You look like you got some sleep. Energy, didn't go out, nope. didn't drink, went nope. to the sauna. There you go, you look cleansed. Heads up, guys. Heads up. Thank you, my friend. Okay. <laughs> yeah, buddy, we did. Yeah, we're here. Sure. We're here, bro. It's nice to see you back, too, bro. Oh, thank you, man. Oh, he shows up when we're through everything. Oh, good no to see hammers. You, buddy. Yeah, good to see you, buddy. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. We've got everything figured out. We made it. The, the barge is waiting for us. We oh, it is. We're going to drive the marina. We got on the boats, and we'll meet the barge. Sounds like a plan. All right, now so it's like 10 minutes to the barge, or 10 minutes to the boats, right? Yep. Good to, see, good to see my friend. Good to see you guys, man. Yeah. My friend. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My friend. All right. Let's do this, guys. Welcome back. Yes. Glad to have you. The best week of the year. So, yeah. cock fishing yes. on the mothership. <laughs> Landon David, 10 minute drive to the marina. Here we are. The ocean masses are waiting for us, so basically we're gonna get on the boat, do an hour run out of the river, out of the river mouth into the mangroves, and we're gonna meet the mothership. It's been our first night there, and then tomorrow we fish. All right, Chris. Well, good to see you, friend, and uh, looking forward to having you on the boat, having some fun. Welcome back. How about it? Let me have the sun. You got it, Rick? You got it, Rick? You good? Hey, oh, the band's back, baby. How you doing? Yeah, buddy. Good to see you, my friend. You too. We here, bro. We yeah. here, bro. Yeah. Who am I driving? Come and see him. Oh, Derek. Derek Shea. Okay. Hablo inglés? Okay. 
Po po Keto or Pequeno? Poquito. Poquito, yeah. okay. See you again. What's happening? Yeah. You been good. okay? Yes, okay. you? Good, no complaints. You know, got through the COVID thing. Now yeah. we're everybody traveling again, so. Yeah. It's bueno. Nice. See, I like to see how everyone, you got all the same guys, man. That's awesome. Yeah. I need, I need. It doesn't happen very often that uh, the no. whole crew makes it through the pandemic. Okay. Uh, cheers, gents. Cheers. 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 We made it. We made it. Awesome. Yeah. Right. What'd you say? Where's our next stop? Koiba Island. Almost. 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 <laughs> Almost. Don't know how to say it. Koiba. 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 Koiba Island. Yeah. I had. It took me a little bit too to get. Here. Catalina's in the mix. Paradise. Yeah. This ain't no Catalina. This ain't no Catalina. I know you're filming yourself. Back We're here, guys. I'm stoked you guys made it. Yeah. Second time. Thanks Second again. time. Second time, yeah, guys. Thanks, Second time. We're stuck. All right, let's Legendary. get this. Let's Thank get you. this started. Is this it? This is it. This there is you go. Thing. You get the big bed. Are you cool with that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very cool with that. Rick, what'd you say? Oh man, these rooms are really accommodating. Big and spacious. They're bigger, they're they're bigger awesome. than you thought, right? Way yeah, bigger. Definitely. Okay. You think four four to a room? You're like, ah, it's gonna be a no. little tight. Because wow. you're used to the long range trips, you know. Yeah. See, that's what I was thinking. See, you know? in long range, it's it's You're tight. tight. I mean, you yeah. deal with it, but it's tight. Yeah. All right. Show me, my darling. How are you? Oh, it's great to see you, my hun. I'm gonna survive. We did. We all survived. Oh, they are stuck. They got my Florida Kanye. Look at that. <laughs> Mari, can I go film the bar? It's more about the winning than the money. <laughs> Lord, I'm back just winning, I'm just winning. You guys, Lord, Morning, buddy. Morning. First morning in Panama. Day one. Game plan. Today, uh, right now we're in Boca Chica, just off the mainland. So today the plan is all the boats are going to run offshore and look for tuna. Basically, they're going to head towards Hannibal Bank and we'll, wherever we find them, that's where we start fishing. As soon as we leave, the barge is going to head out to Coiba Island and make its way there. So we'll fish a full day until about 4 or 5 p.m. and then we'll meet the mothership. Uh, at the end of the day. Today basically the weather's nice, seas are nice, we're going to try our offshore day and uh, just kind of take what mother nature gives us and whatever happens the rest of the week. Alright buddy, I'll see you on the boat. Alright. Oh, we got some Suzuki's. We got some Suzuki's. Come and stop here. Yes. Tomas. Tomas? Me llamo Che. 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 Hey, you hey. hermano Ryan, yeah. Ryan, yeah. Ryan, yeah. Yeah. Who we have here? We got Chi Chi here? Yeah. The one and only. One and only Chi Chi. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Two hour run back, we'll just run over here to Coiba Island and stay here. So it gives us more time to fish. 
Exactly. Front and back. Front and back, yep. Yeah. So. yeah. Real nice. Okay, so the name of the game right now is we're tuna. We're looking for tuna, right? Right now, yeah, we're looking for tuna. We're at the animal bank. These guys have seen some tuna. One boat already hooked up to two, but uh, there's some boobies around. There's some dolphin around. We're just kind of waiting for the tuna to come back up to the surface. Yeah, we're starting to see a little light though, right? Yeah, we're definitely in the right spot. Okay, so I see two different styles of what we're gonna do. We're gonna be casting on these and throwing some, is it blue runners? Or what are yeah, those? we have live blue runners here. It's just the thing is, every every day is different with a tuna. Some days we'll get them on top water, some days we'll get them on subsurface. Other times they won't hit a lure, they only want live bait. There you go. Just a marking spot, GPS spot, just a floating, floating structure. <laughs> Whoa, a little rainbow runner. Pequeño. Uh -huh. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Stoked on Fishing for daily photos, videos, trip updates, and much, much more. Okay. Rooster. What? Rooster. Anything option? Is the tuna yet showed up yet or no? Uh, the school the porpoise get. Oh, yeah, they, yeah okay. there is also tuna jumping, but no, not much happened yet. Okay. Maybe later. Yes. So we're perfect. We're yeah, good. Yeah, okay. we're good. Options, Chris. Options. All about options. Shay. It's all about options. So is fishing. Do you like to say something, Ryan? Yeah, I would, Shay. Yeah, that's the nice thing about fishing out here is that, uh, you know, all the boats, we're looking for tuna. We're out kind of right between Coiba Island and Hannibal Bank. And uh, there's tuna around, but they're not really at the surface yet. And instead of waiting for it to happen, we came in short. And, you know, we don't have to dedicate our day to it. You know, we're in here doing it for a couple hours, get a couple bites, get some action. And then uh, if the other boats find tuna, they'll give us a call and we'll head back out there. World-class shoreline. I'll definitely throw that out there, and Chris knows more about this island than I do, but world, world class, some of the best fishing in the world is going on right here at this island, and not everybody gets to fish it. So basically what we're doing, I'm casting, and we got Chris and Chi Chi trolling back there with the uh, Blue Runners. You better have your drag set. You better have it set right. Just going around these rocks, chucking them winding. Stick bait. Oh boy. Put up top. He came all the way up top, cracked it. Wanna come back? See what it was? No. Ah. It is. You know what it is. It's another blue trevally. Wow. They wow. fly hard, huh? Dude. Woo. Wow. Oh, he was going nowhere, Shay. He doubled up on him. Me. All right, all right, I'll go back here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful fish. Blue trevally, guys, right? Trevally. Blue fin trevally. Look at the colors on that, and look at the thickness of it. It's a chunk, yeah. chunky, absolute brawl on the heavier bass gear, straight calico gear. So let's take some photos, let her go. All right, better. There he goes. Dude, that's a neon blue, just number two. Right. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who knows? You have no idea what, what it is. Whew. All right, see, this is genius. This is way beyond with the uh, net. The net's perfected, man. Oh, these catch and release, whatever it is. Little guy. Oh, no. Blue Travoli, man. That seems so good. Thank you, man. Yeah. Dude, it's crazy how they get those things down. They're engulfing yeah. them. I just, do not pick up these blue Travolis by the back tail without gloves, or you're going to get it. There you go. 
Okay. okay. He scoops it. You know that. You don't need a nap. The Chi-Chi. Now are you in there with that? We just had lunch, came in from the tuna grounds. Absolute nothing but beauty here. Kong Island, I mean, you call it whatever you want. It's, it's near, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. So slow trolling for roosters, cabaras, snappers, anything big that wants to bite. First time using this reel. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Get it. Know what it is. Get it. Just talking about it though. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. I got him up off the bottom. I think. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Good feed. No idea what it is, but it feels all right. <laughs> oh, it is pulling back. <laughs> ah. Way to get those head shakes. Maybe a big jack or a rooster, no? Right there is my biggest Kubera. Slow trolling at about 20 feet around some gnarly rocks. And if you don't have a circle hook on that, holy oh, cow, I just oh, got him. Look at that. Coming I got right him. Out. Our first day in Panama. <laughs> look at this. Okay, Ryan, let me show you. Wow. Go, go, Ryan, go, Ryan, go. Ryan, go. Good luck, buddy. Get a bend on him. Get a bend on him. Oh, he popped. All right, so the real awesome thing about here, every Kubera and every inshore fish goes back. So we're gonna get some pictures and let them let her go. So super jacked. Ready, ready? Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at that bad boy. Definitely my biggest Kubera ever. Thanks to Chris, Central American Sport Fishing, Pesca Panama, baby. First day in Panama, we left the tuna grounds to come in here and have a nice sandwich. <laughs> Good Lord, Al, the monster. Badass fish right here, that was a brawl. Look at those teeth. All right, we'll get some photos, now we gotta let her go. Nice, Shay. Good? Good job, baby. Hey, Ryan, Ryan, get ready. She's going. Ready? Yeah. She's going. Gotcha. Okay, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Chris. Thank you. Thank you, Tomas. Yes. Thank you, Chief. So what's happening here is when you're getting closer to these rocks, the blue runners, are these blue runners? Yes. They start getting really nervous. They start shaking and baking. And it happens fast. Ryan, just put it in his bend now. Get it, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. That drag's set. Everything's fine. Yes. Nice. Same rod, PW, dad's rod, the new Alejos. Yeah, Ryan, get it. Oh, that was instant. There must be some Kuberas around here. Oh. He just woke up. He's still on there. Ryan, he's acting like a jack, didn't he? Yeah, it feels like jack. 
Oh, there he is. Oh, dude, it's like a big pompano or something, Ryan. Wow. Baby. Dogging me. Yeah, he is dogging you. <laughs> dude, I don't know what it is. It's like a giant. Oh, it's a jack, I think, Ryan, or maybe. Blue finch for Bobby. Blue finch for it? Yeah. Oh, wow. oh, get him. That's a big one. <laughs> Dude, he's beautiful. Let me get on this side. Hold on, Ryan. Wow, look at how pretty it is, dude. I think I really need to do it. Yep. Go for it, Ryan. Dude, that's a fatty. Fat key. Yeah. Nice, dude. Nice. Yeah, he T-boned it, Ryan. You can see it right in the middle of the bait. Oh, Ryan just got cracked. Okay. Oh! What was that, Ryan? Ryan's chucking a rip bait up there. Okay. <laughs> I mean, these fish pull so hard for their size, it's unbelievable. I mean, look at that pull. It's extra heavy. There's a rock right there. He put it right on the left side. <laughs> that was so fun. That was rad. So yeah. rad. Okay, Taco. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista, baby. I saw that rock. I used to put it right next to it. Oh that God. was... And to see him come up and just... <sighs> Boy, it sure is crowded out here, huh? Yeah, it's real crowded. Uh, there's zero boats. Zero. And a long line of rocks. All of this shoreline. It's rock pile after rock pile after rock pile. And there's fish on every one of them. It's amazing. I mean, look at this place. Ryan said it best, look at this place. It's a fisherman's Disneyland and just you and your buddies get to fish it. Endless stretches of insane coastline to fish with nobody around. We're just warming up here in Panama. Next week, we get in some reef donkey amberjack and some big rooster fish. Stoked on Panama. Stoked on Fishing is brought to you by Akuma Fishing Tackle, a global leader in design and manufacturing of high quality fishing tackle, and by Grundens, delivering on 100 years of performance apparel for the avid salt and freshwater angler, and by El Dorado Sport Fishing, 85 feet of deck space for fishermen who want to have some fun in the sun and catch some fish, and by Stoked on Fishing Charters. Fish the local islands and offshore banks out west, or join us on one of our many adventures around the world, and by Suzuki Marine, offering the West Coast the ultimate choice in outboard motors.